So in our first video in state tree with EQS, we used rather hard-coded values for the, gr the grid size and the distance between, between the points and the radius of the sphere for which the trace is being performed on. And in order to show this kind of a AI, AI HUD of the AQS, if you press the apostrophe key and then press three on your keypad. So if you look at the top left, there's some instructions on how to show it. But what if we wanted to change these values to be more dynamic? So we wanted to change the size of the grid or we wanted to change the spacing between each of the points that are found or even the, the radius of this sphere trace. And how can we do that using blueprints? So if we go to our EQS hide location that we used in the first video, you'll notice that when you click on any of these, that for anything which is a Boolean or has a float value, there is a data binding option available. And that's true at everything, basically in most of these variables have this data binding and they exist on nearly all of the tests that you are running as well. So path from context, Boolean, you can do a data binding. So how does this data binding work? So let's say for instance, in this case, we wanted to maybe increase the space between each of the points. So instead of being just a hundred units, we want to make that bigger or smaller depending on our needs. So if I go to that space between, and underneath there's a data binding. If I click on that, and now it gives an option, either a random number, or I can choose a query params. When I click on the query params, it then gives me a param name, pathinggrid.space between. So how do I use this information to set this value in the blueprint? Well, if we go to our, we were running this off a state tree task called hide and flee. And if I open that, this is where we run the EQS. So we say run EQS query. We bind to the EQS to get the results. But if you drag off from this return value and you type in set named params, you get this node. And it asks for a parameter name and a value. So what's the param name? If I go back to the hide location, well, the data binding here is param name. So if we just copy that, go back here, and we can paste that in here. And maybe we give it a larger value. We can say 500. And we just connect that go back to our map. I'm just going to delete the EQS test pawn that we created. That's fine. And now if we run our game, and if we press the comma or the, we get access to the, to this. And then if you press three, now you can see that the space between each of the points has now been set to 500 when originally they were a lot closer together, just 100. And basically, by using this node and setting the parameter name and the value, you can change any of the values on here which have a data binding attached to them. So you could change the half grid size, query params, and it will tell you the name of the parameter name, which you can then use in your in your node. If you wanted to set a Boolean value, so say for here, when we're running our test, we're saying that we want the matching numbers. This value here you copy it and you were to paste it in here, 
you would simply choose 0, it would either be 0 or 1, so 0 would be false and 1 would be true. So that's how you would then set the boolean values. So using this query params you can customize your EQSs for different scenarios.